All right, it is another big week for movies, only this week it's a big week for only one movie because I don't think anybody wanted to take on Jurassic World. Well, things went so well the first time they opened up a park with dinosaurs, they decided to do it again. Wait a minute. What about the time after that and the time after that? Yeah, you would think that the history alone would make us go, this is a really <laughs> this is bad not a idea. Good idea. You know what? And I have to admit, after the second time and the third time, and I'm not talking about opening the park or the dinosaur, I'm talking about the movies, you would have thought this time would have been a bad idea. Yeah, you know, but they've decided, let's just go back to the roots. Let's go back to the heart of what made Jurassic Park awesome. We're going to reopen the park, but we're going to call it Jurassic World this time. Oh, and things seem to be going swimmingly well. No one's been eaten by a dinosaur in like <laughs> 10 years. Well, that's good. Except, well, people aren't as blown away by dinosaurs anymore. So the, the mad scientists have been told, make them bigger, make them nastier, make them scarier. Oh, they made one that also turns out to be crazy, and she's on the loose. <laughs> So I have to admit, I loved the first Jurassic Park. Thought it was great. And I'm holding out hopes for this one because, number one, I like the actors in it, but also um, the previews look fantastic. Well, you know, I think, I think that the, the challenge in this movie is kind of the same challenge that the characters in the movie face. You know, when Jurassic Park came out 22 years ago, we were blown away. I mean, Steven Spielberg brought dinosaurs to life on the big screen, and they looked greater than any special effect we had ever seen in our entire lives. And to this day, I swear, whenever I see Jurassic Park on TV, I still think those dinosaurs are the greatest special effects I have ever seen in my life. Good Lord, has it really been 22 years? Yeah, it has. Oh, man, we are all old. Yeah, but, you know, we also now live in this world where everybody thinks a computer can make anything. So, you know, we have to up the ante. We have to up the factor to, to make it more impressive that dinosaurs are alive. And, and so you see that kind of playing out in the movie where, yeah, the dinosaurs look cool, but I've seen dinosaurs before. And the action scenes are a lot of fun. And you know, I think a lot of the characters and a lot of the stories are just kind of familiar. I mean, they're not bad, but, you know, oh, we've got one naysayer who's trying to remind us we shouldn't mess with nature. We'll never seen that before. You know, we've, we've got a woman who suddenly realizes, well, maybe work isn't everything. Well, we've never seen that before. We've got the two boys who are on the run fighting against nature and dinosaurs that want to eat them. Well, we've never seen that before. I mean, you know, there's just a lot of familiarity there. But the action, I think, makes up for it, and the, and the dinosaurs are kind of cool, and they make up for it, especially the new killer whale dinosaur. Oh, that's my favorite. That does look pretty cool. So our, in the first Jurassic Park, there were a bunch of repeatable lines from the movie after you got out. You're all repeating. Are there any like that must go fast must go fast well frankly you know the, the most memorable lines from jurassic world are the ones that they they kind of borrow from jurassic park and intentionally so there are tons of allusions to the first movie in this movie while you might even see some familiar places aha uh -huh. so this really does take place at the first where the first jurassic park took place it does, matter of fact, and it's still the InGen Corporation, and they talk about what happened back then and how they're doing it better now. It's pretty cool. I like it. All right, so what do you give it? I'm going to say two and a half waffles. Why not? You know, the other thing that's changed in the last 22 years, 22 years ago, Jurassic Park, I remember, came out 4th of July weekend. Yeah. Now all the big movies come out a month before 4th of July weekend. Yeah, it, 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 more and more and more, it feels like if your movie's not released in May or at least early June, you're not a big enough blockbuster. <laughs> yeah, and they used to wait until the 4th of July for blockbus bu the blockbusters to be released. Yeah, you know, now now the summer movie season starts like May 1st. Oh, I was going to say April 1st. Well, you know, it, it, that's going to start being the case. You know, next year, you're going to have some really big movies in April. I think the Batman Superman movie's an April movie, if wow. I remember correctly. All right, any big movies next week we uh, should be holding out hope for? Well, you know, we're going to be holding out hope for the, the new Disney movie, Inside Out, the animated film, which looks like it could be the best movie of the year. Wow, that's saying a lot without seeing the movie yet. I know, but just the idea alone that we're going to see the emotions in our head, that just blows my mind. All right, we will talk to you uh, again next week, Willie. All right, we'll talk to you then.